Right, here we are in the applications for the Droid X, and there's 3G Mobile Hotspot, obviously. Got the Amazon MP3. This backup assistant um, actually will back up your um, names, phone numbers, email addresses to your address book. So it's not a complete thorough backup, but it will uh, do a backup of some of your critical information, which is nice. And then there's the Blockbuster app, which is on there. And the car dock, this is something similar on other devices, uh, like on the Evo, there's something similar to this. I like this layout, while it's very basic looking, that, that you can make a call, check your location, um, listen to music, and then this was, I actually just added that, the FM radio, but I just put that on there just as something to add, because that actually said add an application, and then voice search. So then, obviously, then if you wanted to navigate to some place, then you could from this. And this would, obviously, the assumption would be is that this would pull up when you're um, docked in a official car dock for the Droid X. Otherwise, you'd have to call it up yourself. And I'll show you that if I do go to the menu and the preferences that uh, custom, you can see that it says FM radio right now. And that you could um, change that to whatever application that you'd want to. And let me see in the drop down. Go this way. Yeah, so then now it's letting you say, okay, you could, uh, if you wanted to have Blockbuster be the, the choice, then as you can see, now it's Blockbuster. And then otherwise I can close. And I'll go on back to the applications. And City ID came installed. I added the Compass app, as I had said earlier. You're going to end up having a corporate directory as well as your normal contacts if you're going to set up this device for uh, business use. And emergency is actually a setup to where you can have alert messages that would actually come. And if I go to the menu, you can see emergency alert settings so that it says presidential alerts are mandatory. And then otherwise, um, you can set additional alerts that you would like to receive. Extreme alerts, severe alerts, amber alerts. So kind of a neat feature that they've built on into that. Back to the applications, we also have the FM radio. I'll note that the FM radio works much better on this than it does on the Evo. There were actually, when I auto-scanned at work, there were nine stations that it detected. Obviously, you've got to have headphones plugged in for it to act as an antenna, but really, comparing side by side, I did the same thing with the same set of headphones plugged in and scanned. I got three stations that the Evo could find, nine stations that the Droid X could find, so that was pretty impressive. I put on the Google Sky Map, and uh, let's see, then we've also got My Accounts. So this is just a place right from your apps where you can just choose which accounts you're going to have associated with the phone. And there's the NFS Shift, a pretty impressive game. I'm not going to launch it right now, but uh, there's Skype Mobile. That is not the video version of Skype. That's why I had put Fring onto the device, is that I actually tested out Fring, which I can show in a moment. And all right, so as I said, the Droid X does not have a front-facing camera, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Fring on both of these devices and just show an example of connecting with Fring. And you can still make a call. So I'm going to let Fring pull on up on the Evo here. I'm not getting connected. All right. I want to show here some of the unique settings that I have found on the Droid X. If I go on into the settings, and if I go, like, for example, into the call settings, that they have caller ID readout. So it can be the caller ID and then the ring. And I'll show you the other examples. So the ring only, caller ID, then ring, or the caller ID repeat. So just a nice feature that's added on there. Also, that if we go into the HDMI, then there are some different settings. You can have it just set to automatic or different resolutions depending on what you want the output to be when you'd be using the HDMI out and plugging into a source, be it a TV or a projector, whatever the case might be. And there's the backup assistant settings. Um, under location and security, there's a chance for you to calibrate the compass, so it's nice that it's right there in the the settings. And then other things are very similar to um, the menu items that are on other Android devices, but I did notice that those are just some enhancements that were um, here in the Droid X menuing.